name is Matthew Hosselton. I'm a double degree student and I'm pursuing a degree in percussion performance and biology. I came to Oberlin because it was one of the only places where I could study both science and music. A short note appears to be softer than a long note. Mm -hmm. So if you go bum. At the conservatory, I've been very lucky to study with Michael Rosen. He wants you to find what you want to do, and then he encourages you to pursue that to the best of your ability. And so, as I've come along in my percussion studies, the focus stops being what kind of technique are you using, or how is your body relating to this instrument, but more, who are you as a person, and in what way is that being expressed in your interaction with your instrument? I've always had music sort of be a, a calm spot in my life, and you know, when you're practicing for a senior recital, it doesn't really seem like music is relaxing. But, but it's always something that's sort of centered me, if that makes sense. Oberlin focuses a lot on making scientists, teaching people the skills so that they can go into lab and think critically and sort of become the next generation of publishers. Mostly I've, I've focused on genetics and epigenetics. I've been primarily interested in stem cell research and uh, medical applications of stem cell research. So understanding how things like policy and federal legislation translates into things like grant money, which translates into research and demand for research. How do you encourage research for things that people think are progressive to society? As far as percussion goes, I mean, it's awesome. You hit things all day. It's like being a major league baseball player, you know? It's great. The study of biology and percussion are, are very divergent, uh, but complementary in an academic sense. As a percussionist, I know how to spend three hours in a practice room tactically working to solve problems. I know how to set up a diverse set of equipment so that I can play a piece. And so when I come into lab, I understand how to conduct my time best. Conversely, studying genetic mechanisms or how a chicken develops from an embryo, these things sort of convey a, a bigger picture to what you're doing in general. Oberlin is a school where everyone is interested in what other people are doing. People talk about what they're learning, people interact. Musicians at the conservatory put on concerts, so they, they improvise in public spaces. You know, by coming together, we are able to work as a group to create something that we as individuals would not be able to do. The same thing is true of biology. Yeah.